Yo, 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 what's crack lacking, guys? Crypto King is back to give you guys an update on the crypto market, on the crashing crypto fucking market, guys. Jesus Christ, what I fucking tell you guys? What I fucking tell you guys? Unfortunately, this is one of those times where I don't like being right, um, but unfortunately, I am. You know, I told you guys the last couple of days that, you know, I feel like there's going to be more downside and Bitcoin's going to, actually, the last fucking week or so or more, I said there's going to be more downside and it looks like it's fucking happening. I also told you guys the other day, about the fucking May 10th, May 9th, May 10th crypto correction anniversary of last year. Yes, exactly. Last year, today, basically, yeah. Uh, crypto fucking had a crazy crash from fucking 64K. It's an all time high. I don't know, 28K. Fucking more than 50% loss. Okay, it's fucking crazy. And then decided to go, you know, from I think it was like August, September, it started to rise back up all the way to 69K. 69K, now all the way back down again. So it's kind of crazy. But May 10th, May 9th again. And looks like it's happening again. Fucking, you know, big ass free fall happening with Bitcoin and crypto on this same date. Fucking nuts. So keep that in notes in the future. Like, you know, May 9th, May 10th, not a good day for Bitcoin and crypto. All right. At least for these past two years, 2001, 2002, 2022, I mean, 2021, 22. Fuck. But fucking shit. Um, so I told you guys in the last couple videos, a few videos before I actually said, the Bitcoin's next move to determine bear market or bull market. Well, looks like we got our answer, guys. Guess we're in a fucking bear market. I guess we've technically already been in one, you know, which has been, on, you know, on a downward trend since November. So we've kind of been just already going down, but now it's like almost confirmed that, yeah, we're just going to go down for a while and stay down for a little bit, at least for, sure, for a few months, okay? Uh, one good, gleam of good news is um, after looking at all the other bear markets, you know, a lot of people tell you guys the bear market lasts for a few years. I thought so too, but after really doing some research and watching the charts, the, the the bottoms of the bear markets don't really last that long. Like the bottom bottoms, when like you know when you, the floor prices basically, the floor like you know the cheapest you can get it usually lasts about six to eight months. So if we're going to there right now, Bitcoin gets to let's say thirty k or twenty k is the you know it's the bottom basically we're at the bottom now. Or if it's twenty k, it's the next stop is the bottom. Then it would stay there, bounce up and down there for like you know a few months to you know six to eight months before finally moving up. Come back to correct, move it up more, 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 more. So, that being said, guys, these next few weeks and few months might be the best time for you guys to buy crypto. Truly the best time for you guys to buy crypto if you're looking at it long term, long run within the next five years. Okay? And that's how you should be looking at this shit anyway. Like, you know, like a lot of people got into crypto recently because they saw how much people money people made. But guess what? All those people got into it recently, you guys, you guys got in too late. That's just the bottom line. You guys got in too late. You guys got in, you know, when the hype was, you know, already skyrocketed. When, when your fucking soccer moms are talking about Shiba Inu, that's when you know, that's when it's time to sell. And, you know, a lot of people's soccer moms are talking about fucking Shiba and all those other fucking coins. So, you know, it was probably many signs to sell. And, but, you know, when, you, but when you're so bullish, you just want to stay bullish. So, but, you know, in December, I was telling you guys, I'm worried. I'm worried. I'm worried. In November, I was telling you guys, I was worried, you know, because I was like, you know, this is extending for so long. So, well, shit now you guys know i'm worried <laughs> well i was worried then so you know fuck so um again yeah shit sucks but everything's a gift and a curse remember that because you know with this curse obviously things gonna go down so if you have anything invested you lost a lot but what's a gift is that you're gonna get the same coins that you wanted to buy before at a major major discount major discount the cheapest discount you'll ever find and think of it you know like i said long term within the next two to three years I'm thinking two to three years, like five years would be safe, but at least two, three years. When we're back up, I think it's going to be literally, literally two to three years. Shit, you're going to, you know, these next few months will be the best times to buy any coins that you wanted to buy, period. Okay? So just keep that in mind, guys. All right, keep that in mind. Anyways, guys, let's get right to the chart. Show you guys what I see. Bitch. All right, DXY, what's it doing right now? At 103.5. Okay, it's just kind of chilling still above the symmetrical triangle that I already broke above. Okay, and it has a little red candle, but um, well, let's, let's go a little bit closer to really see what it's doing. Okay, still above, you know, this um, support right now. You know, there's a triangle right there, broke below it, then above it, now it's dancing above it. So, you know, it still looks very bullish, okay? It looks like it wants to keep continue to keep going up, DXY. So, if DXY continues to keep going up. Guess what's happening with these guys? Stocks and Bitcoin? Oh, yeah, it's going down, down, baby. All the way down, okay? I told you guys in the last video, stocks just look too overextended, guys. Look at this. This is a high fucking mountain. Looks like it's time for it to come down this mountain. It looks like there's a lot more for it to come down, too. I'm not saying it's going to come all the way down this red line. 
It's possible, but I don't think it's going to come that, that low. At least down to this peak right here. You know, or like, you know, halfway in between this peak right here. And then like, you know, maybe chill here before moving back, back, back up. But damn, if it actually comes all the way down to this line, that's where, that's where, that's how low it hit when COVID first happened. Well, fuck, oh my Lord, Jesus Christ. Everything's going to get on. The world economy is going to fucking, really, really fucking tank. We're going to another recession, which already looks like it's happening. And Bitcoin for sure, for sure, it's going to tank even further down. Okay. Okay. So. Again, okay, so Bitcoin, where's it at now, guys? So I got rid of a lot of my lines because a lot of it was just telling the stories of everything that was happening up here, trying to predict where it's going to go. But now that's out of the question. Where do you know that it's on its way down right now? So I'm just trying to find a new support. So right now, oh, wow, the green line tested as great support. So this green line, how I get this green line, guys, this green line is also last glimmer of hope. See this green line? This is a line that I found. This is from the bottom, the beginning of COVID. March to not March tenth, two thousand twenty, when it fucking tanked to the bottom before fucking running all the way fuck up to new all time highs. Okay, that was the last dip before the rip, guys. So that line right there, see that? It kind of bounced there, bounced here before it ripped up. Looks like it just touched it again. It literally just finally touched it again after since two years since March two thousand twenty. No, since uh, yeah October two thousand twenty, almost two years. You know, went up to new all time highs and now finally came and touched it again. So. Guys, this could be, if it wants to be, the new bottom, you know, and maybe dance around here, dance around here, which would be actually very bullish. That'd be great, you know, actually it catching a bounce here at 29, 30K. That's why I say, you know, always good time to buy, like, you know, especially when everyone's fearful, which they are. But if it breaks this, which it kind of broke a little bit, the green line, a little bit slightly, but it's above it now. If it continues to come down the green line, though, oh, man. Comes down below the green line, which is about 30k, 329k to 28k. Then it's going to come back up. It's going to clearly break the green line, coming back up. That's going to be new resistance and come down for more. The next stop, almost for sure, is 1920k. Almost guaranteed. Why? Because that was the previous peak back in the day. See that? That was previous peak. So uh, another line I had too, that was support line, was this this yellow line right here that you know attached a previous peak with these two supports that it bounced off of. But now you can see it's clearly. Bitcoin went right below that. Now it's above it again, but still, it just broke it so clearly. So it's having a nice bounce right now. I must say, it's having a little bounce, but again, I ain't gonna get bullish yet. It's just a little bounce, you know. It came all the way down. Look, it's it's kind of crazy. That it's really bounced perfectly on the screen line. That's that's kind of nice. That's that's nice. But that really is the last gleam of kind of hope, you know. If it dances on that green line and just dance, 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 and then continue up, that would be actually good, you know. And then that means by, by next year, it should be on its way back up. 2023, January, it should be on its way back up. You know, that would be great. However, breaks that green line, fuck. It might take a little longer. And that's all. <laughs> it might take a little longer. But again, you know, these next few months, guys, it will be here, chilling here, around 30K, or here, around 20K, or down here at 20K. These will be the these will be the best opportunities to buy Bitcoin, guys. Why? Because within the next few years, where is it going to be? Look at where Bitcoin came from, okay? Let's look for where it came from, all the way down here. Well, you know, where it came from, it's going to look like where it is now. See this? This little, this big-ass mountain right here? Well, this used to be a big-ass mountain down here, you know? But now it ain't shit. Guess what? This is going to happen the same. This is going to become like this. And then Bitcoin's going to be all the way to fuck up here. Like 200K, some stupid shit. You know, this is going to look like fucking nothing. Compared to where it's going to be within the next fucking two or three years. I say two or three years for sure. 2025, I can see it could be the next bull run or less. 2024, possibly. The peak, the end of the next bull run, at least. Okay? So, man, guys, pay attention to that, okay? Ethereum, you can also back at 24. It's going to keep going down. Cardano back at, you know, 67 cents. But again, guys, just look at it in the future. They're having a nice little bounce, but just look at it long, you know, long term. In three to four, in two to three years, you'll never see these prices again. Okay, let me repeat that. In two to three years, you will never see these prices for all these coins, whatever coin you want. You'll never see them again. Bitcoin will not be at thirty-two thousand in two to three years. Okay, Cardano will not be at sixty-seven cents. Ethereum will not be at two thousand four hundred. No, well, none of these will be at these prices in two to three years, guaranteed. Okay, it's gonna be way, 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 way more than any of that. So, do yourself a favor, be smart, and do the right thing. Buy when other people are fearful, sell when they're greedy, okay? That's always a trick. Anyways, guys, that's all I got. You know, sorry for the bare bad news, but 
I'm being real with y'all. One of the only ones being real with y'all on this fucking YouTube shit. So if you appreciate it, give me a fucking like. Click that like button. Click that fucking button. Click it. Thank you, man. And give me a comment. Say what's up, King. Tell me what you got. Tell me what you guys think is gonna happen in the market. Bull market, bear market, reversal. What do you guys think? I'm curious. Um, and tell me what, what are you guys gonna do? You guys gonna sell? You guys gonna hold? Also curious. And if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the notification on because I'm gonna give you guys updates on Bitcoin, crypto, and the market every single day this year, 365 days throughout the year. I'm keep up the charts so you guys don't have to. Just tune into me, watch me for a few minutes, find out what the fuck you want on Bitcoin and crypto. All right, that's all I got for you guys today, guys. Crypto King is out. Till next time, peace.